Hi, good morning. In today's session, we're going to see the snowflake string functions. In string functions, we have one special category called regular expressions. You can perform any operations on a string to match a particular substring, to extract a substring, as well as to find the portion of the string, you can be able to do all things in your regular expressions. It falls under string functions. Now, uh, if anyone asks about what is meant by regular expressions, you can see um, these string functions you see in the below, right? Regex count, regex instr, like, extract all. It's going to perform all the operations that's going to match the regular expressions of to refer, often referred as regex. Is to use to match a particular string or we can extract this substring. We can able to find the portion of string and then we can uh, able to do the replace as well in the string. All things we can use to perform in the regex. To match the particular string, to extract a particular string, we can go for regex. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first one, I'm going to uh, show the regex count, regular expression count. Now, uh, you can able to count the strings based on the regular expression you have supplied. Once the regular expression gets matched with the particular string, then we can able to perform the count. We can able to do the number of times that pattern occurs in a string. What is saying is if the pattern is getting matched in the all, uh, all the part of string. We can able to find the count. How many times it was matching, the pattern was matching in the particular string. Now, um, regular expression count, we can pass subject. Subject means you can pass a column name. You can pass the pattern, regular expression pattern, and which portion you want, like we want to find the count. If you pass the portion right, at the particular portion, if the, ma if the pattern is found, then it will find the count. And then we supply the parameter. These are the optional parameters. What are seeing the um, square braces, right? All are the optional parameters. But you have to supply the column name and pattern. Subject something but yeah, column name. You can supply. Now, straight away going for example. Uh, C is nothing but your yeah, parameter. I already said, right? We have to supply some parameter. The parameters are uh, nothing but optional parameter. If you want to supply, if you supply C, is a case sensitive matching. Exact case means if it is lower case, the lower case should be there. Upper case, upper case should be there. That is called case sensitive matching. If you supply C as a parameter, if you supply I, the case insensitive matching, it can be upper case or lower case. Next one is. M is nothing but a multi-line mode. Multi-line mode, what happens, right? It will start the, um, it will start matching from the start of the line as well as the end of the line. It won't consider the starting ending string, start of the line, end of the line, end of the line. It will going to match the entire start of the line and end of line. That is called multi-line mode. More than one line can match using multi-line mode. E is nothing but uh, exact submatches. What are the pattern you are providing? That's exact match should be found in the particular string or particular column. Okay, you will do the exact submatches, and then if you pass apply parameter yes, it will match the new line as well as a dot. These are the four six wild characters. So you understood right? If you supply yes as parameter. To get match with the dot as well as it match with the slash and new line. These are the post six wild characters. You can supply all these things as a parameter to this syntax. You can see the fourth one is the parameter. You can supply key C, uh, C case entry matching, I case entry matching, and then you can supply uh, E exact sub matches, M for multi line mode, S for Four six wild character, uh, wild characters. It will match dot and slash in. Good. Now uh, we're going for the examples straight away. How to find the count? Now you can see they are supplying 
syntax as regular expression count. We want to find the count once the expression got matched. Now, uh, if I copy this one, just like copying this one and putting in the snowflake, snow site, just put ETL and then uh, give some schema public schema. Now, to do that, you have to the answer for this. The first one you are looking right, this is subject. You can supply column name as well. If you are creating some tables, right, you can supply column names, this subject. From the subject, you want to find some count once the regular expression got match. If you see this again, the parameter, you can see W double slash B. Double slash B is nothing but a word boundary. This is what it is. Double slash B is word boundary. Word boundary. Okay. Now in the starting, you have to give double slash B. And the ending also you have to give double slash B. That's called word boundary. Word boundary means uh, in the middle, what part of substring you have, that substring should be matched with the subject. Now, in the word boundary, middle, what we have? We have was. That was should be matched match with the subject. If you see, the was is matched here. And here also, the was is matched here. Two times, the was got matched. Now, what's the count? Two times, was was ma matched with the subject. Now, what's the count? Two. Two. That's the result. We are expecting for That's the use of regular expression count. If the exact... Matches happen, then we find a count. If you see, the result is going to be two for us. Instead of subject, you can pass a column name as well. And then this double slash is nothing but a word boundary in the middle. What part of string we have? That string should match the subject. If it is match, it is going to find the count. That is a regular expression count. Now, uh, just to be going for one more example. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, one small table just to have you lab this example here. I think I didn't copy it. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll go for another example. Yeah, I think I missed to create. See, okay. Now I'm creating your table and inserting two records. Now we can see uh, the table name is overlap. The overlap ta table, you can see some records now. Yeah, now you can see the records, right? Now you can see the records. The ID column we have and A column we have. Now, I want to um, count the commas in front of ABC. How many commas we have in front of ABC? One. One. After JKL, one comma is there. Okay, this is what I want to find the count using the regular expression count. Now, what they're doing is I'm creating a table and sending two records. Now, we can see the same results as it is. ID column, A column we have. Now, what they want to do is, uh, if I can copy the same thing. Using regular expression count, they are passing the column name A here. And then they want to find the count. Okay. Now, uh, what they are doing is, uh, if you look at here, they're using punctuation. And then before ABC, we have comma. Okay, it will fall under the punctuation. Uh, you will think like uh, double quote is a punctuation, but here the regular expressions P, U, and C, T is nothing but your comma. Okay, now if you look at here, Followed by digits letters. Okay. Followed by digits and uh, punctuation mark. Followed by, followed by a punctuation mark. Okay. Followed by a punctuation mark. Correct. Okay. What they are saying is 
uh, if you are giving punctuation mark, uh, like uh, before special characters, before uh, characters, right? A, B, C. Before that, we have a punctuation mark. After that, we have the alpha numeric. Alpha numeric in the sense, like it can be a character, it can be a numbers, anything it can be there. But here we have only the um, characters we have. Okay. Uh, that's why I given alpha numeric. And then at the end of the alpha numeric, what we can see? We have the punctuation. We have the punctuation, right? Punctuations. Punctuation. The starting and ending, we have the punctuation. Okay. And then the, the third argument you can supply I. I nothing but insensitive case match. Insensitive means it can be uppercase or it can be a lowercase. It can be uppercase or lowercase. And then next, uh, second argument, you can see it's a one. One means from first position onwards, you have to ma find the count. That's why it's called one. Now, if you run the script, right? Okay. Uh, for first record, we'll get two. For second record, how, will, how many things you'll get? For second record, what's the count? For second record, what will the count? For second record, I'm asking about, you can see the A, right? You can see multiple punctuation marks are there. Multiple punctuation marks are punctuation. there. What, what will the count I'm asking? For first one, I'm, what I'm saying that it will two. For second record, what the count? Same two. How it come to? You can see multiple punctuation marks are available. After ABC, you can have double punctuation marks. After DEF, uh, double punctuation marks. GHA, double punctuation, punctuation marks we have. Now, let's run this. Now, what account now for the second record? Four. Four. Because the starting one is a one punctuation mark, ending one is two. And then we have one more here and one more here. Okay, that's why we are getting the count as four. But if you look at first record, the starting we have uh, one position mark, ending we have one position mark. That's why getting the two, count as two. This is how we can able to do it. Find the regular expression count. Regular expression count. Now everything is good. Now we're going to uh, see one more function, regular expression, extract all. Okay, what they're saying is both uh, extract all and substring all, both are same. If you click this one, it will point to the regular expression, substring all. Okay, now for this regular expression, extract all, I have some examples I can show you here. Okay, these are the various examples I have derived. We're going to see one by one. The regular uh, extract all function, it's going to extract all the occurrence of regular expression pattern within a string. What are the regular expression pattern we are, uh, we are giving, right? Based on the pattern, it's going to extract the all the occurrences in a particular string. This function is mostly uh, used in uh, to capture multiple occurrences of pattern in a single string. For example, in a string, you have multiple patterns we have, okay? If you pass that pattern to the substring, it will going to match all the uh, patterns available in the string, and then it's going to return as a matches. Now, the first one we're going to see, though it's a uh, function name is extract all, we're going to extract the part of your string. Okay, now the first example we're going to see is, I can uh, copy and paste. We're going to extract multiple words that matches the pattern. Extract multiple words that matches the pattern. Now we see these are the column names you want to supply. But instead of the column names, I have passed subject. And then the regular expression I have passed, double slash yes. Double slash yes stands for non-white spaces. Double slash yes plus stands for non-white spaces. 
can i say this user one example.com it's a non white space yes sir after dot com you can see one space you can see one space a double slash s plus stands for the non white spaces okay now what they are doing is they are giving a double slash s plus it will search for the non white spaces yeah it can be able to find after that what they are doing is they are using at the rate okay up to up the rate is there any spaces up to zero one. No, sir. No, there is no space are there. That's why they're using at. Okay, now uh, uh, up to at there should not be any white space. That's why it's called double slash s plus. And then you can ask a question: What do they use of double slash? It's a escape sequences. It's a escape sequences. Now uh, up to at the rate we don't have any spaces. After that, what they're trying to do? After that, after that, what are they trying to do? You have to say. After that, what are they trying to do? After that, what's the expression they given to us? Double after, slashes. A white double space. slash. Double slash. Yes. Double slash. S plus. S plus means. Few minutes white space setting. plus. Without white spaces. Without white spaces. After that, at the rate, you can't see any spaces called up to example. There is no spaces. You can see up to dot com. I can see there's no spaces. But as per the ex expression, what they are giving is after at the rate, you should not see any uh, white spaces. You got example. After that, what they try to do? You have to say. What they try to do? If you see double slash dot. What's the dot stands for? We have to match. After the example, we have to match. We have to match? Uh, dot, dot com we, and the dot. We have to match only dot. And then after matching the dot, what we're trying to do? Without dot space. Plus. Without white spaces. You should understand. Yes, plus nothing but a non-white space. Double slash S stands for white spaces. That's the difference between S plus and yes. S plus means non-white space. S means white space. But I have given a non-white space. After dot, we'll get com. This is how they are extracting a part of your string. Now, as per a thing, I'm going to extract. Now, we're going to see. If I run this, what will the result for me? If I run this, what will be the result for me? I'm asking you. Though it's user a, one at example.com. After that? After that, you'll get uh, only one result or three results? One result. You'll okay. get only three one. Results, sir. Three results. Let's put out space. You'll get how many results? You'll get three results. You'll get three results in terms of array. You can see the brackets, right? In terms of array, you can able to get it. Okay, user on at the rate example.com, user two at the rate of test2.org, and user three at the rate of domain dot not. Now I'm going to add some strings here. Okay, for your for your thing. I'm going to add some random strings. Now, what will be the result? Can you see? Now, what will the result? You have to say. Three or four? Four. Uh, four, right? I added some string here. Whether what the count will be. Yes. Now, now I'm adding one more string. Okay. Yeah. Now what will be the like array count? Three or four or five? Five. 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 How you can say five? Can you justify, justify here? How you can say five? Plus D F H at uh, you are using at sir, so it will be counted. What about dot? What about uh, non white spaces? What about the uh, at the rate? You have at the rate. After that, we have to have the non white spaces. Where do you have the non white spaces here? Where are the non white spaces? Sir, so it's a 
are sir so sujita i am saying to you yes. you have to match the exact pattern you have to match the exact pattern that's why it's called regular expression you have to match the exact pattern if the one thing is missing you that won't come in the array now do it double slash s plus you have the non white spaces after that you are using at the rate at the rate is matched after at the rate you should have again non white white spaces spaces we don't have white spaces here okay we don't have non white spaces here we have only white spaces that's why it won't match if you run this thing you will get one this is the results as 3 the length will of the array will be 3 Then the array be three. Three. Now, I, what I am doing is I am going to add one more thing. Now, what will be the length? Array length. You have to see. Four. Four, sir. Will be four. Four. Now you can see it will be a four. Okay, this is how the regular expression will get mash. Good. This is example number one. I want to discuss now. Example number two is very simple to extract the digits. This is another regular expression. Without regular expression, you can't walk in the snowflake. Now, if you look at here, these are the column uh, names you can supply. Instead of column names, I pass object. I have one twenty three, four fifty six, seven eighty nine. Uh, double slash D plus stands for digits. Digits. Okay. We want to extract only digits as an array. You can use double slash D plus. Now, just and this one once again. Yeah. Now you can able to extract only digits, right? One twenty three, four fifty six, seven eighty nine. This is another example. You can able to extract only digits. The third example I can say is now. Um. Yeah. You extracting a word with your Specifying some characters. Now, so just what is the subject here? What is the subject here? Apple, banana, apricot, A apricot, avocado. avocado. Okay, double slash B stands for. Few months back, I said all these things. So double slash B stands for. Double slash B stands for. Uh. Word boundary. Boundary, boundary. Uh, boundary. It's a, it's a word boundary. And then the word boundary, in the middle we can see one A. It it will see where the A gets smash, and then here you can see double slash W star. It's nothing but a word. Thing but a word. More than. Word will get match. If you see, it will start. Though it started the A, apple will get matched. Apricot will get matched. Avocado will get matched. W stands for word. If you put asterisk right, more than one word will get matched. That's called W asterisk. These are the regular expressions you have to learn. If you look at here, yeah, you can see apple, apricot, avocado. Okay, if you are supplying as a, another B, banana will get. Let's you can give it a try. Now you can see banana get matched. This is how you can able to extract a part of substring as a array. Now the next example I can go, going to show, example number four. 
we want to extract all the hashtags from the string. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I have some several hashtags. From the hashtags, I want to extract it based on the some regular expressions. If you see here, the follow hashtag of snowflake and hashtag of data for updates call, uh, and then uh, exclamatory mark. Now, the regular expression I'm supplying is hashtag I'm supplying and then what is the W? Double slash W plus anyone? You have done so. What is the double double slash W stands for? Few minutes back, I said all these things to you. What is the double slash W stands for? Sujita, are you there with me? Yeah, sir. Yeah, what is the W double slash W stands for? Multiple multiple hashes. Though hash we have, I'm asking particularly what is a double slash W stands for. It's something with a word, it will, the word will get matched. After hashtag, the word will get matched. Okay, that's why you are using double slash W plus. If you run these things right, only you'll get the hashtags followed by your substrings. Hashtag snowflake, hashtag data. All things you'll get. This is how you can able to uh, match using regular expressions. The next example I'm going to show. Uh, it's very uh, simple. You how to how to extract the dates in a specific format. Okay, how to extract the dates in a specific format? Though we have the day, month, and year, we how to extract. Now, what I'm doing is, these are the subjects for me. Meeting dates are 3, 15, 23, and 12, 20, 24. Now, what I'm going to do is, I am putting double slash B. What is double slash B stands for? Double slash B stands for? Bound, boundary. What boundary it is? What boundary? You're simply saying the boundary. What boundary it is? The word boundary. It's a word boundary and then ending also we have double slash B. It's a word boundary. In the word boundary, if you see any digits of two, two means we have two digits. We have two digits and then hyphen format. Another we have two digits that is called D butterfly bracket of two and then one more hyphen and then digits of four. Totally how many digits we have? Four digits we have. Now, this part of date, we can able to extract as your array. And then, now, if I run this one in array, how, what's the length for me? If I run this query, what's my array length? My array, how many values will be there? You have to say. If eight, eight values, I'm asking what's my array length. Though, as per the pattern, we are extracting a part of date, right? Now, in the array, how many dates will be there? How many dates will be there? Actually, two dates, two dates, two will, dates, be there. Two dates will be there. One is 3, 15, 23, another one is 12, 20, 24. You can see the, the array length is going to two for us. Now, uh, these are the various examples we can see for the uh, regular expression, uh, extract all. Okay, this is the way you can able to extract all part of substrings in your array. Now, the next one we're going to see. Um, yeah, regular expression, substring all. Okay, uh, it's also going to do the same thing. We're going to see some examples for this as well. Uh, it's going to be an array an array it contains all substring that matches a regular expression with the substring both are same extract all and substring all both are same now we're going to see some examples i have some unique examples yeah now uh now we're going to see uh regular expression substring all both extract all of substring all are both are same okay that's no much difference it's going to return an array uh once the uh, regular expression got matched all part of substring will be available in the array. 
Now, as per the example, we're going to extract all email address. We're going to extract all email address. Now, look at the example now carefully. Contact asset support at the rate example.com or sales at the rate example.com for assistance. Now, what I am passing is uh, the regular expression passing is uh, it can be A to Z. It can be A to Z or it can be capital A to Z or it can be 0 to 9. So, you understood, right? The string can start with lowercase or uppercase or it can start with Digits. Numbers. Digits. Digits. It can uh, see it can be upper. See, I'm saying this. It can be uppercase. What I'm highlighting, right? It can be uppercase. It can be lowercase. It can be numbers. Any combination we can have with the string. Any combination we can have the string. That's why I given all the combinations. Mostly we have the alpha, uh, like alpha numeric means. So special characters also will be involved, right? Now, now what I'm doing is it can be a lowercase. It can be uppercase, it can be 0 to 9. Okay. Now, after that, this string can contain dot, the string can contain underscore, the string can contain percentage symbol, plus, minus. It can contain some special characters also. The string can contain special characters also. You can, if you see, dot is there, right? After a sentence, you can see we have. What we have? Oh. Um, after, white space, white space. After a student, what we have? White space. You have white space, right? After assistant, you have you seeing the white space, right? What we have after assistance? Commas. Commas. It's a comma, right? For you. It's a comma or dot. Dot's a dot. How we catch it's comma? It's look looking like yeah. Dot, right? After sure. assistance, it looks like a dot. It's not a comma. Now, for in order to match those things, we are giving it can be a dot, it can be underscore, it can be percentage, plus or minus. Now, that's why you have to give an array bracket. Uh, in the string, it can be uppercase or lowercase or uh, numbers. It can be any combination. It can be a dot, it can be underscore, it can be percentage, plus, minus. Okay, after that, we are using one plus symbol. Plus symbol means uh, because if you take one character, it's the uppercase. It's far by lowercase. That's why it contains more than one character. So C is following the zero, O, N, T. It's kind of more than one character. That's why you're using plus. After that, we are looking for the at the rate. At the rate means what happens, right? Before that, before at the rate, what are matching? We are matching contact as a support. We are matching up to this expression. We are matching contact as at support. And then we are matching at the rate. After at the rate, what are matching? Can be lowercase, uppercase. It can be a, it can be digits. It can be a dot. It can be, it can be iPhone. After at the rate, it can be a uppercase or lowercase. It can be a dot. It can be it can be a minus. After that, they are using plus symbol. Plus means uh, e for by x, right? That is more than one characters. After that, what they are matching here? What they are matching here? Hyphen. After matching at the rate, they are matching some category, can be uppercase or lowercase, right? After example, yes. what they are matching? Dot. Dot they are matching. They are matching the dot. Okay. After that, uh, the dot, after dot, we can have some characters. We can have some characters. Dot com is there, right? That's why it can be uppercase, it can be lowercase. How many digits should be there? It should be, contains more than two digits. Sorry, more than two characters. Not two digits, more than two characters. It can be CO or COM. Okay. Uh, that's why we are mentioning like it can be uppercase or lowercase or it can be a more than two characters, two comma. And then as emails. Now, uh, it's very simple. 
if I run this one, what are the substring will get extracted? Can you see? What are substring will get extracted? If I run this one in array, what's the length? What are the substrings will get extracted in an array? Support at example.com. And then? Sales, uh, sales at example.com. That's it. That's it. Okay. We will extract only emails part. We won't extract the remaining things. This is how we can do. You can see all emails will come. Why are you getting R here? Mm, yeah. Email because I given more than two categories, right? That's why after dot com it's R it's getting mashed. Because I given two comma, I'm not giving any limit here. After two, the entire thing gets mashed. That's why getting R. Okay, good. Now the next example I'm going to show. You extract all hashtags from a string. All these things you know, right? How to get to the only hashtags? You have to use W plus. What is W plus stands for? W plus stands for. You have to say what is W plus stands for. Sujita, what oh, is right. yeah? Yeah, it's a it's a word actually. Okay, the word uh, it's a word. Now after hashtag, oh, it's not giving empty hashtag for me. Yeah, just one second. Why it's giving a uh, empty hashtag for me? Let's talk about the coding part. Okay. Uh, Snowflake and SQL. Let's see. I given one example here already. What's the problem here? Oh, I made a blunter mistake. I have to use escape sequence, right? That's the results I can show you. Now you can get all the hashtags, coding, snowflake, SQL. This is another example. The third example I can show here is, uh, third example is nothing but, I extract all words starting with capital letters. Very simple. Okay. Whichever words are with capital letter, you have to extract it. Now, if you look at the regular expression, this is a subject for me. Okay. Alice went to Paris with Bob and met Clara. Now, what I have to do is, whichever word starts with uppercase, I want to extract it. If you look at here, double slash B stands for? Double slash B stands for? Double slash B stands for? Boundary. Word boundary. It's word, a? Word boundary. Word. word boundary. After word boundary, it should start with? Capital A to Z. Okay. Now we are seeing it start with capital letters. After that, followed by lower case and then uh, asterisk more than one characters. If you run this one, it will start. And then you will start Alice, Paris, Bob, and Clara will get. Because we are extracting only the start with capital and lower case words. That's why you're getting Alice, Paris, Bob, and Clara. Yeah. Now we're going to see the example number four. How to extract all the numbers in string? Same thing. Okay. Just uh, what you have to do. We have to use the digits. We have to use the digits, and then you have to extract only digits in, the, in terms of array. If you look at here, the temperatures are 22, 18, 30 degrees. Now, these looks like a string, actually. In the string, we have to extract the digits. We have to supply the word boundary. Before the word boundary, you have to give the escape sequences. In the end also, you have to give the word boundary. And then you have to give the escape sequences. In the middle, you are seeing escape sequence D plus. D plus stands for 
more than one digits more than one digits we have multiple digits we have 22 18 and 30 degrees 30 degrees we have it will going to give 22 18 and 30 22 18 30 okay now this is the result we can able to see now example number five can show uh, we can extract all the phrases enclosed in parenthesis see this is the example this is the example phrase one and here another phrase now uh, it has to match all the phrases if you look at here i giving escape sequences if you see brackets here right you can see one brackets and then you can see one ending brackets now uh, i want to extract all the phrases enclosed in parenthesis i want to get a phrase one another phrase i want to get the result for that what i am doing is i giving uh, the starting brackets and ending brackets and then inside the yeah inside the square brackets right i am using negation in the negation what it has to do the next character should not enclose with closing brackets that's why i use negation of closing brackets if negation of closing bracket means once the bracket is started right it should not next to character you should not see the closing brackets that's why I use a negation after that i am finding more than uh, one characters using asterisk and then finally what i am doing is up to the enclosing brackets, the last brackets, I will find the words. Now, just run this thing as it is. You want to extract the phrases. Let's see how it works. You can see phrase one and another phrase. Okay, inside the brackets, what a phrase we have, right? That thing we have to extract. You can see the starting brackets we have, ending brackets we have. Inside the square bracket, I should I use negation. The next, after bracket, the next should be a character. Okay, it should not come with close brackets. That's why I use negation. Now, this is the way you can able to extract it. And then uh, we have multiple examples, uh, like these things already have seen. Okay, now I'm going to show one more example. Uh, regular expression substring all. Uh, now we can see subjects as item cost are 100, 45.99, and 55. This is the example I'm going to show. So, Jidapriya, you have to answer for this. Now, using subjects, item cost is $100, 45.99, and $5. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using dollar symbol and then I'm using D plus. D plus means stands for digits. D plus stands for digits. And then I'm using, if you see here in the bracket, I'm looking for dot. After um, digits, right, you can see some decimal places. Dot is there. After dot, how many decimal place should come sorry after decimal how many digits should come after decimal how many digits should come sujita priya are you with me yes sir yeah after decimal how many digits should come two digits sir two, two digits two digits come that's why i using in a brackets uh, see i searching for a dot after that, I am searching for two digit percent or not. You might have a question. In 100, we don't have dots and how it match because you can see on question mark. Question mark, nothing but it's like a group. Group means whether uh, the digit can contains um, scale value without scale value or with scale value. That's why we are using question mark. If it can be how. Uh, scale value or without scale value. This is not having scale value. This will have scale value. This question mark only decide, okay, whether uh, like it can contains scale value or without scale value, it's going to match. That's why using question mark here. Now we can see we're going to get the dollar of 100, dollar of 45.99 and dollar of 5. Now it's got extracted 100, 45.99 and dollar of 5. Now we'll see one more examples. 
I think we've already seen these examples. Yeah. Mm, yeah, hashtag also we've seen. Yeah, everything you have seen. Now the next function we're going to see, a regular expression, I-N-S-T-R. It will match the portion of specific occurrence of a regular expression in the string. What happens, right? It's going to give only portion. And which portion the substring get matched based on the regular expression. That's what it's going to give. Now, regular expression, I-N-S-T-R syntax, we have to pass object, we have to uh, give the pattern. We can pass a portion, which portion we have to do the exact match. And then, and then you have, can display the, put the occurrence, how many occurrence we want to display. If you put two, two occurrence will be shown here. If you put three, three occurrence will be shown there as a result. Now, uh, I'm going for the regular function IS, INSTR. It's going to return only the portion values. Now, what I want to do is, I'm going to create a table. Just copy as it is. So, you have to answer for this. I'm just creating a table. Now, how many columns we have? How many columns we have? Can Three columns, sir. No. Can you say what is the table name? Can you say what is the table demo name? Demo one. Demo one. Now, demo. if you now if you look at the records, demo one. It's going. Uh, now you can see the values. Never more one. Never more two. And never more three. These are the values you can able to see. By uh, now, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the regular expression INSTR I'm going to use. In the regular expression INSTR, I'm checking for never more should come. And then what I'm checking for? I'm checking for double slash D stands for? Digits. Digits. I'm checking for the digits because we have one, we have two, and then we have three. Okay, but the regular expression INSTR is going to give the portion. Now, just I'm going to copy as it is, and then I'm going to run run in the snow site. Just run in snow site. If you see the difference between substring and INSTR, both substring and ISSTM, it's going to extract a part of string. In substring, it will get never more one. But what's the portion now? Which portion it is? It is portion is portion is one one first portion. Okay, because the number one is first portion, right? That's why it's the first portion. Okay, this is how we can able to do it. Now I'm going to give some more examples. So, yes, yeah, some other examples. I given the. Uh, now I get the portion is five. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Just copy as it is. I give the portion is five. Let's see. Portion is five. Yeah. Now, uh, if you look at here, right? I given the portion is five. Mm, it's giving the INSTR portion as 13 for me. It's never more two. It's giving the, because I given the portion as five, right? It's giving never more two substring. And then uh, it's giving portion as 13. Let's see how it's behaving. Search for magic string, but start at a fifth character in the string rather than the first character in the string. Okay, got it. Now what happened is if I give five, right? Uh, it will go on search fifth character. Okay, in fifth character, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, never more is not there. Directly will come to this never more 2. And then it will give the portion. Which portion? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I, think, uh, I think we should not start at 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, how it's how come 13 is coming? It's coming 12 for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The portion is coming as 13 for me. Okay, 
Yeah, this is all uh, because I given the portion after the fifth portion. I want search for never more. The portion it's going to give us 13 for the regular expression INSTR. This is how the regular expression INSTR will work. And then if you look at here, um, we are searching for the starting with one and ending with three. We are searching for the never more. Uh, and then start with digits. Now, uh, like if you see, right? never more one and never more two and never more three is there because i'm searching for third substring that's why getting never more three substring three and then third substring the portion can be 25 if you count from one the nav n will start with the portion number 25 that's why you're getting the value as 25 this is how you can able to get the portion using regular expression instr it will give the portion where the string got exactly matched based on the regular expressions. The same thing they have followed for the remaining things. Okay, we'll give the portion values. I'm going to close session right now. The remaining uh, two regular expression functions we're going to see tomorrow.